You've probably never even heard of it, the Zika virus. It's transmitted by mosquitoes and relatively new to this part of the world. But now Brazil has linked it to a huge increase in birth defects. In fact, it's carried by the same mosquito, Aedes aegypti, that also transmits dengue fever and yellow fever. But because of the relatively mild symptoms, we're talking about a, a low fever, maybe a rash, maybe a headache. It really didn't set off alarm bells when it first appeared here in Brazil towards the beginning of the year. But then doctors started to notice a big spike in the number of cases of microcephaly in newborns. That's a neurological disorder that means these babies are born with very small craniums, with a limited brain development, and that over the course of their life, they're likely to need constant care. Now, as doctors were researching this big surge in birth defects, what they found is that most mothers reported having had some kind of Zika-like symptom in the first stage of their pregnancy. Then on November 28th, the Brazilian Health Ministry took a very significant step. They announced a link between the Zika virus and microcephaly. Brazilian officials are advising women to delay getting pregnant, if at all possible, especially women in the northeast of the country where microcephaly has been more prevalent and where six states have declared a state of emergency. It's hard to know exactly how widespread it is because it's hard to detect, because many people don't even have symptoms. So the health ministry here in Brazil estimates that up to 1.5 million people may have been infected with the virus this year.